What up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have been gone for a little bit. Well, I've been here, but I have not posted this type of video in a while. And yeah, I'm back. I went on a trip to Mexico, which was really fun. And yeah, I've just been kind of getting back to, you know, real life, real issues. But yeah, today I wanted to come in and come on here and just uh, share with you guys some of the things that I've recently picked up within the last couple of months that I just haven't shown you guys. And yeah, let's get straight into it. First off, we're starting off with pants. I tell you, actually, I think I've only picked up uh, these pair of pants. These are gonna be these common market. I don't know if you guys can see this. I actually think I've talked about this brand before. They are known as Mod Ref, but I think they also go by Common Market. I feel like every time I try to shoot these videos, there's always something happening outside or in my apartment. Um, and they have been like renovating and doing a lot of construction around where I live. So it's just always really noisy. So I apologize. Back to these pants. So yeah, these pants are from Common Market. They're honestly really heavy, which is, pretty nice they are they have these really cool pleat details on them and i honestly just like these mainly because they kind of remind me of like like a sweat but also just like something light and something casual that you just throw on over and of course black being the color that like you can just wear with anything i honestly don't even know what material this is made out of I really love these pants. I've been wearing them a lot. They're just really comfortable. And this is a XXL, which is like a double XL. Um, and honestly, I love the like bagginess, the slouchiness. Worn these with uh, my mules. I've also worn these with like some sneakers and just a t-shirt, tote bag, keep it pushing. I like when my clothes feel like they have weight to them because when they get washed, they're not just gonna disintegrate in the washer. Brand is Mod Ref or known as Common Market as well. Kind of like a online boutique brand. They carry both men's and women's and I think a lot of their stuff is just centered around like basics, like really good basics. T-shirts, button ups. I actually think these are called their Idris pants. They also kind of remind me of the Issey Miyake pleated pants but without the Issey Miyake price. And y'all know on this channel, we're not in the business of paying full price or paying ridiculous amounts for things that you can find secondhand or find something similar. I will also make sure to link everything that is still available in case you guys wanna also check them out or you know get you a pair of anything that I'm showing today. Um, these right here will run you about a cool $98. I think a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna be showing you guys today I have been able to get from my job, um, which I've talked about before. My job has allowed me, um, honestly, a great opportunity to really take the time to craft my style and figure out what I wanna do or what I don't wanna do, and I'm really grateful. The next thing we're gonna get into are some of the tops. Um, these are like jackets or just shirts that I picked up. And one of the first ones that I wanna show you guys is this denim jacket. This denim jacket is from Girlfriend. Uh, I feel like a denim jacket obviously is a staple. I feel like everybody should or have one of these or at least has one. And if you don't, then you need to get one. They just work. They just work with everything. I feel like similar to, you know, having like, I don't know, that one good black jacket that you wear with everything. It's the same situation with a good denim jacket. This is part of their oversized denim jacket. I think this is called the Christy uh, oversized jacket before this I was thinking about getting the or getting the Levi's jacket just because like I feel like Levi makes really good denim jacket but I was just having a hard time finding the silhouette and the cut that I wanted to get and one thing that I really love about this is like the back I love the this thing in the back um, I just feel like it's, I just feel like it shapes the jacket really nicely and it's little details like that for me that honestly make it or break it. I just feel like now that I have a good solid denim jacket in my wardrobe, in my collection, um, this is something that, you know, is going to just be a great addition to everything that I already have going. Also has a lot of good room in its pockets. 
Um, it's got these side pockets and the button pockets. And as I said, this is just such a versatile piece of like item in the closet. I mean, you can wear this with anything, you know, in the winter, in the fall, you can honestly even wear this on in summer, you know, like at night, throw it over something. The third piece of item that I have recently picked up, might need to take these out of the hanger so y'all can really see this like button up situation uh like that's like a vest but it's also like a top um it's by a brand called gary graham which i'm not really sure i tried looking them up and i didn't really quite find a lot of information about them this is a this is this is something i picked up for my job this is like a summer staple it's hot it's hot as hell in la and most of the times i don't even want to put clothes on so I'm looking for things that are easy, things that are flowy, breathable. You can never go wrong with like a vest or some type of button up. And I just really enjoy the cut of these. Again, similar to like that boxy cut type of vibe. It just sits really nicely on pants. Also has like pockets. This fade on it as well. And I just love the silhouette. One of the biggest things that I've been really focusing on when buying things is just making sure that it fits exactly the way that I want it. Very often I bought I bought stuff because I'm like, ooh, this is like a brand that I really like and I really like their stuff. But then I start to wear it, I'm like, I don't really like the way it fits or I'm like trying to figure out ways to alter the clothing to fit the way that I want it to fit. And so for me, it's been important to like buy things that fit my body type and fit exactly the way that I want it to fit. Obviously it's hard, especially being masculine presenting, having boobs and stuff like that. Like things don't always look the same way that it looks on other people. And sometimes you do have to make alterations to get the right look. For me, I've just been leaning into things that are things that have interesting shapes between this and the denim jacket um i feel like i just really enjoy kind of the shape of these items and yeah we're getting into our accessories as y'all can see i have been locking my hair um i started last july and so we're coming up on a year soon so it's been i think it's been like eight months that i've been locked but you know my hair went from little beanie beans to like little i mean they're still beanie beans but they're growing and i've just been kind of in this awkward stage with my hair and just how things look i mean i can almost finally put it in a bun which is progress but i have been in this awkward stage of my hair journey for such a long time and it makes it hard sometimes to get dressed because i always have to think about like what am i gonna do to my hair so I've been getting into scarves, beanies, hats. I've been wearing a lot of hats um, just because they're easy and you know they don't require much thought. This is a recent pickup that I got. Again, as I mentioned, I've just been in such an awkward stage of my hair that like I just sometimes I just want to cover it up. I just want to wake up, put my fit on, and go about my business. So, you know, having beanies or having hats or scarves, um, they just make my life so much easier. So yeah, I recently picked up this beanie and. It's like one of those, let me see if I can put it on. Well, I mean, my hair is in a bun right now, but um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a slouchy beanie, doesn't require much thought. And I don't know, I feel like sometimes, you know, you need those items where you just throw on and go about your day. This is another pinstripe hat that I picked up recently. Uh, this is by Undefeated. Again, something simple, something, you know, like, cool and interesting to you know break up some of the monotony or just like you know those simpler outfits but i just feel like accessories such as like jewelry hats or things like that they just help elevate and you know add a different interesting situation to whatever your outfit is it has this green um under cap but yeah a little nice baseball cap to throw on the days that again i feel lazy and don't feel like doing my hair this has to be honestly one of my proudest purchase that i have gotten in a while i'm just excited to show y'all it is very long i have to like put it behind me because of how long and big this is a very deep tote bag and again another pickup that i got for my job um this is a drag queen i 
think their name is Divine um, that is on this tote bag. And just such a cool piece. We all carry tote bags. Um, and I think that, you know, when I saw this, I was like, I have to get this. Like, this is crazy. Look at how deep this bag is. I can fit so much in here. I've been carrying this around everywhere because I want I want the world to see this bag. Caved in and I bought the Adidas Gazelles. Here she is. Um, I caved in and I got the Adidas Gazelles um, in this colorway. Now, low-key, these remind me of the Gucci Gazelle. Kind of similar colorway. I think the only difference is that it has like all the Gucci logo on it. These are probably going to be going into my summer uh rotation for shoes that i will be wearing and i'm gonna give you guys a close-up that's gonna be everything that i have picked up within the last couple of months that i've been wearing and i've been enjoying and i just thought it'd be cool to show y'all everything that i have shown in this video if they're still available will be put in the link at the bottom of this video don't forget to subscribe like comment do all that good stuff run this channel up we're at 300 subscribers and I am incredibly grateful and thankful for every single one of y'all who've been tuning in and watching my channel. I've kind of been, I've been in a funk. I've been in a funk, y'all. I'm gonna be real. I've been in a funk with social media. You know, what am I doing? Well, do I even wanna do this? And sometimes it's important to take a break, take a step back, reorganize, reassess what you're doing, why you're doing it you know, your purpose. And I am feeling a little bit more creative. I'm feeling a little bit more, you know, enthusiastic about this whole journey. Um, so yeah, I'm just excited to, you know, keep sharing. I will catch you guys in another one.